Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna make a large hexagonal LED lamp for the garage. For this purpose I'll need a plywood template. I cut it on a CNC machine, but it's not that difficult to draw and cut it manually either. All the walls of the hexagon are 32 centimeters long. For the lamp frame I'll use a square pipe 15 by 15 millimeters sized. I'll cut it on a cutoff machine that will significantly speed up the process. Now we need to trim all the ends of the blanks at 60 degrees. I spread out the details along the perimeter of the template and welded them together. I welded another octagon frame to decide how to assemble the lamp more easily. This type of assembly will take twice as much pipe as the two walls will be welded between each other. I decided to do it differently. We'll have to clip one of the details ends like this. They will join at an angle and then the wall of one octagon will be the wall of another. In this case, the template is also useful. After welding several details together, I realized that I was moving in the right direction. So we can transfer our construction to the floor, or I'll continue working on it. The metal began to deform a little so we have to press the template to the construction. I drilled a hole in it and pressed it with a clamp. Thus the entire lamp frame was welded. Now we need to turn it over and weld all the joints on the other side. Then I painted it black. Next we'll need a CSP type LED strip. The space between the elements is less than 2 millimeters. And the entire strip length is filled with fluorescent, thereby providing a smooth glow line. I took 25 meters of strip light. I also took a power supply for it. There's an adhesive layer on the strip, it perfectly sticks it on a painted smooth surface. Most importantly I didn't have to cut it at the corners. It flexes perfectly, that will make its placing on the frame much easier. Those bends are completely invisible when the strip light is switched on. It 
It's better to bring to each 5 meters strip its own wire, otherwise it will light irregularly in a consistent connection. It only remains to glue and solder all the jumpers. On top under the white film, the strip has two copper bus bars, plus and minus. Thus it can be soldered anywhere with pre-removing of the white film. The strip light is in place. Now we can try to connect it to the power supply. The lamp looks very cool. I wanted such thing in my garage for a long time. It can be placed either near the wall or suspended under the ceiling. Thanks everyone for your attention. If you liked this video, put your thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.